Weeks after Typhoon Mawar battered the island of Guam, many residents are still in dire need of help as they try to recover from the massive destruction that the Category 4 cyclone left behind. Some areas are still without power and water. Survivors from the hardest hit villages like Dededo and Jigo are overwhelmed with the challenge of rebuilding their houses that were destroyed by the strong winds and flash floods. Sadly, many of them are forced to prioritize buying building materials over essential food items. An Operation Blessing team responded to this urgent need and reached out to these most affected communities, making sure that every family received the much-needed aid. Hi, I'm John Tan for Operation Blessing. I'm here in the island of Guam. I'm in the village of Jigo and uh, in the subdivision of Zero Down. And uh, the houses here are just flattened and people have lost everything. There's still no power, there's no water. Uh, we're going door to door right now, bringing food and fresh water, drinking water, so that people can uh, focus on rebuilding their homes. The residents were grateful that Operation Blessing, together with committed volunteers from their church partner, Life in the Sun Church, personally brought them food bags containing rice, canned goods, coffee, sugar, and other basic needs. They were touched by this kind gesture that lifted their spirits. Hundreds of survivors also came to the church to get their food bags and free Bibles. We would like to bless the people that have it. Mm -hmm. And they would um, get filled with the Holy Spirit from Jesus. Yeah, so that's why we're giving Bibles to them. The material help the survivors received may only last for a few days, but God's promises written in the Bibles and the prayers released over them can last a lifetime. I just want to thank all our donors for making this possible for the people in need. Here in Guam, we appreciate you and we thank God for you. God bless you.